Welcome to the Health Code Podcast. I'm Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah's Day, and I'm a health and fitness YouTuber. And I'm Kurt, professional photographer and content creator, or also known as Sarah's Boyfriend. We're here to help you crack the code to a healthy and fit lifestyle. We're going to be talking all things health, fitness, relationship, lifestyle, and career. So it's time to grab your code books because we're about to spill some serious tips. Really? That sounds so bitchy. No, stop it. We're not st- that's annoying in people's ears. No, people like the sound of my voice. Not like that. Yes, they do. Stop it. <sighs> you want you want you want to do your little intro thing or what? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm grumpy again. <laughs> grumpy says he over I, here. No, I told you April is a grumpy oh, month. She's so grumpy at the moment. No. Grumpy, grumpy says he. Just busy. Hi, guys. Welcome back to The Health Code. It is Curtimus, not so grumpy, and Sesimus, very grumpy. No, I'm not grumpy. I'm just a boss girl. <laughs> I'm peaking a boss girl, which means I got a lot to do. I don't have time to sit here and chat to you. <laughs> no, nah, really, I do. I just, um, I'm like just highly strung right now because i have a lot on my mind we've had a massive week and this weekly wrap is going to be a big one guys so maybe we'll just play the music yeah 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 oh we we both need to take a big breath before we (laughs) start this because (sighs) inhale exhale oh that was very therapeutic thank you okay so this week has honestly been one of the craziest weeks in the entire year for us. So crazy. But the thing is, it's okay because number one, we knew it was going to be like that. So we sort of prepared each other. We literally, we do this thing where like, if we know we're about to get really stressed or something mm-hmm. intense is going to happen, yep. <laughs> we sit down. Okay. This is like, I don't want to do this, but Kurt makes me do it to like calm my soul. We sit down, he holds my hands and we <laughs> breathe in together and breathe out. And he's like, it's okay. Okay. It's going to be like this for two weeks and then it's going to chill out. And then we always get through it and we're always fine. Yeah. So that was one of these weeks. So yeah, just reiterating, this weekly wrap is insane in our membrane, in every (laughs) aspect, work, life, Uh, Okay. Yeah. It has been craziness. So we spent our entire weekend at the fitness show. It was so much fun. So much fun, but so much energy had to be it put into so that. so good. Yeah. Says he's Batman, obviously, and I'm Robin. I'm just a little sidekick and to And you the remember side. that, honey. <laughs> honey. Yeah, how's that feel? But it's so cool to meet everyone, and everyone's so friendly and oh nice, and they've all got such nice stories. And-, and that's the hard thing. So basically, the fitness show in Sydney asked me to come, and they were like, we'd love you to do like an hour presentation, and I was like, um, what on what? <laughs> so I was like, I can make smoothie bowls. And they're like, oh my gosh, we love it. And I was like, okay. So I literally, my thing is, if I think about anything too much, especially if it's like public speaking, I freak myself out and I like sweat and I just get really nervous. So I work best off like impromptu. So that's, I guess, why I'm a YouTuber. I just like want to turn yeah. the camera on and start. Yeah. So with my smoothie bowl recipes, they went really well. Like, a lot, a lot of stuff went wrong, but that was kind of why it was funny. Like, yeah, day day one was a bit of a fail. Like, it was a few things that went wrong. Like, <laughs> one thing, for example, Sarah gets off stage, and the first thing she does, she's so excited to show off her new product, my fruit and nut, which nut mix. is the fruit and nut mix. Yeah. Congratulations! Thank that's you. another thing that's happened this we'll week. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> um, so she gets up on stage and she's like shaking her hands and she's all excited. She's <laughs> waving to everyone, and then the next minute she didn't realize that the fruit and nut mix packet was open and it is all over the stage it went everywhere and i was like <laughs> i planned my whole presentation over like popping this fruit and nut mix out and saying this is Surprise. my new product let's put it on top of all the smoothie bowls and like 300 people just saw me put it all over the floor and everyone was like <gasps> yeah <laughs> i just started laughing so it was okay but anyway oh, the smoothie bowl recipe the demo went really well everyone was loving it and i just like i don't know i honestly found like a new love for presenting in public and i think that's definitely something i'd want to pursue in the future but the best part of the fitness show was definitely my meet and greet. Yeah. Again, I was so blown away. Like, it was amazing, wasn't it? I also have this thing of like, I think I'm the biggest loser. And I'm always like, no one's <laughs> going to come and see me because I'm like such a pleb. Yeah. And Kurt's like, no, no, no. Like people will come see you. And I just couldn't believe I had one of the biggest meetups in the fitness show. Yeah, and we had insane. to. Absolutely insane. Yeah, and we had to like 
elongate my time period so I could meet everyone. And that was my thing. I said to them, I was like, I don't care if I have to be here for hours. Like, I really want to meet everyone. And I don't just want to take a photo because like, girl, I'm not the most Susie photogenic. loves a chat. I want to chat with everyone. Well, <laughs> why we started this podcast. Everyone comes up and they give me a hug and they're like, oh, I started watching you because of your hormonal acne. I have the same thing. I'm like, oh, sister, let's have a sleepover and talk. <laughs> and then the fitness show people are like, hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> So, Next. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I just loved, loved meeting all of you guys. So that was that. Okay. I've had a massive week. I've uh, done a few photo shoots, done a photo shoot today actually for a Woolworths catalog, oh which gosh. I'm super excited about. And the photo looks amazing. It's for a particular brand. I can't disclose what it is at this point in time. It has pink in it. It has lots of pink and, and it's like float. Uh, I, I, I'm not even going to talk about it I right think now. it's the best photo you've like ever taken product. A product. Photo. Yeah, yep. definitely. Definitely. So stoked on that one. I also released my presets, Woo-hoo! which I'm so excited about. And there's been so many of you guys who purchased them. And um, you, you've all had such positive feedback around them. You're all loving it, which is just really great to hear. And yeah. you've been tagging me in your photos and they've been looking amazing. And just keep that up, guys. Like, If you want to go purchase my presets or have a look, go follow my Instagram. Go to my website, www.kjtils.com. And hit through to the shop link and my presets are there. Have a look at them. They literally change your photos from zero to a hundred at a click of a button. It's amazing what, what happens. So Yeah, for anyone who's wondering, on my page, everyone's always asking how I edit my photos. So I either use Kurt's Warm Lux preset or yeah. Tropicana and then I'll just sort of dabble with like the exposure and stuff like that. But they're yeah. pretty much the two presets that I use. Yeah, there's a few other ones in there. There's some nice like film grade ones. Uh, I'm pretty sure I call it Gypsy Lust is one of them. What a one great name. Favorites. I love it. I would just use it for the name. Um, <laughs> Teal Orange is another one that I love, but um, go to my website and check them out. Love it. Okay. Um, what else has happened in my work? I think that's about it for me. I've, I've been really, I've been your number two most of this yeah, week, really. Honestly, like, like sitting- massive thank you to you because you have actually been the best support system oh, ever. I know, like, we welcome. never do this and we're never nice for each other like this, but seriously, <laughs> this has been a really selfish week for me. It's just been all about Sarah's day, and Kurt has just been my right hand to everything. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It's gotta okay. happen. So let's let's go. Let's jump in. All right. Number <laughs> one, I launched my fruit and nut mix with Loving Earth. This has been a product Ooh, that yeah. I started literally one year ago. So for the OG subscribers, you may remember an Instagram story trilogy kind of thing from this time last year when Kurt and I just moved into our apartment yeah. and we were lying down. We didn't even have a fridge. We didn't even have a fridge. We were living out of an esky. That's right. <laughs> we, we had no furniture. We had a skateboard inside, which it was, was like just so much fun. just after you released the ebook number one. We had no furniture. Oh, we had nothing. Man. We were sleeping on the Crazy. floor and we had a, a skateboard and Loving Earth sent me all of the ingredients so I could like dabble yeah, with it because yeah. obviously with all of my products, I'm such a control freak and I really take a lot of pride in like any product I bring out so I said to them I don't want you making the recipe I'm gonna make it yeah so basically we like set up all of these 10 pin bowling style fruit and nut mix packets (laughs) and we ran into them and that's how we were like on the skateboard (laughs) laying on the skateboard so we would like bowling ball (laughs) hoping that that would just make an awesome mix which I mean I would wish I said I wish I could say it did but I, I, I totally made it in the kitchen. You know when your mum says, don't skateboard around the house, skateboard around the Do house. Do it. It's it really makes fun. products. <laughs> <laughs> so I launched that and that's available either on my website. So I have like a link to all my products there or you can just go into Loving Earth and it's under their raw snacks category. Can you also talk about the name of it? Because yeah. I find it really funny. It's yeah. such a good name. Go well, on. the name actually, yeah. the name is Deluxe Mix, yeah. but the marketing strategy behind it is My Kind uh, of Candy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So my thing is we had a big meeting, like I've flown down to Melbourne a few times times because that's where loving earth is and i said i want to call it my kind of candy because when people say to me how do you not eat candy or like skittles and redskins i'm like guys i'm obsessed (laughs) with fruit and nut mix like my deluxe mix so that's how i kind of sold it to them and i was like it's my kind of candy and they kind of i I agree with them now and they said it's going to confuse people and people are going to think that it's candy i was like okay fine we'll use that as the marketing strategy and like the kind of side name to deluxe mix so basically It's full of activated seeds, activated nuts, dried fruit, coconut, caramelized bikinis. And it's like a beautiful, sweet, toffee, crunchy flavor. It's just incredible. It's really yummy, guys. Like, I I love it. I think it's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, 
Next thing, come Sorry, on. We're okay. going to keep this ball rolling so we can actually get onto the topics. The really good stuff. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Next is my protein balls are finally live in stores. Yes. I How know. exciting is oh that? We've been waiting for that for ages. My whole day today was based around that. So pretty much... Because we're in Australia, if you're listening overseas, you'll like know the feels of trying to get something from Australia because we're in the middle of nowhere. Shipping is really expensive, yeah. even from like state to state within mm-hmm. Australia. For some reason, we just don't have Auspost, Sozzies, Auspost. You guys <laughs> are legends, just like, but <laughs> our shipping's just really expensive. So when I launched my protein balls, the protein balls themselves were around like, you know, twelve ninety five, and people were like, you know, we don't want to be spending $20 on shipping. I'm like, girl. I totally get you. So for the past few months, the Health Lab, which is the company I partner with for my protein balls, we've been racking our brains about like what stores we can get it into and how we can decrease or even eliminate that shipping aspect. So pretty much my protein balls are now available, like tangible. You can go and buy them and feel them in About Life, which is like a health food store slash cafe around Australia. Is it Australia? I'm pretty sure they're Australian. I'm going to say yes. If it's not, I'll link it in, like I'll fix that in the show notes. But it's also going to be available in Fitness First as of the 1st of May. And I can't confirm just yet, but for my international girls, especially the US, I have something in store for you and it's almost approved. I just don't want to promise anything yet. So yeah, that's really exciting. That's that. Moving on again. Okay. Number three is my event. So my ebook Sweat It Reload is launching on the 12th of Woo! May. You guys are the first to know that. I haven't even announced <laughs> it on my YouTube or my Instagram. No yeah. one knows but you. So yeah. congrats. And I am having an event for that, but it is it's more of an intimate event which we spent Ooh. the whole day I know it's going to be at the Clean Treats Factory, which you guys, oh, the place you looks need amazing. to Google it. Honestly, Kurt, yeah. I went there today and I was yeah. like, do people get married here? And I've they only sort seen of- stories, <gasps> of, I mean, photos of it. Yeah, oh I gosh. haven't actually seen it in real life. I literally was like, yeah, do people get married here? And she was like, oh, no, people have engagement parties. Honestly, I would full on have my reception really? there. Really? That I, good? Yeah. I actually, if we got married next year, that's where I'd want to have it. What? Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's like Kim Soo in Bali. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I-, I get you. Yeah, that's so, pretty beautiful. So yeah, that's where we're having the event. And my friend Tanika has literally like taken the reins of that. And she's organizing everything to do with the event because I'm actually working on the ebook itself. All right. Now on to the collective. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is... The collective projects. This is the thing that has absolutely changed our life and the secret or, you know, the the reveal that we've been hinting at for two weeks. And you guys are the first... Did you know this? They're the first to know. I haven't said anything. This is is an exclusive to the podcast. And I'm not even going to say on my Instagram, like, go listen to our podcast. We tell you. No. This is insane. I like this. Because normally, normally how it works is because my YouTube has like the most following. I'll usually announce it there first and then I'll do Instagram story. Then I'll do an Instagram post and then I'll do a Facebook group and then I'll do an email. However, we're flipping this bad boy and it's I feel like we're best friends with all the podcast people. Whenever they like tag us, they're like, it's literally like I'm having a conversation with you guys. So I'm I'm on that wavelength. I agree. Well, it's because it's like unedited. It's like, yeah, it's a bit more raw. Totally. Yeah. So Curtis. All right. What do you want to start with? The big dog. The real big dog. (laughs) The real big dog or like the little big dog? No, no, no. The real big dog. Should you say it or he's, should I? He's giving me eyebrows. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're giving me code word for the big dog or like... The- now I'm doing double winks. Do you know what's going on? Woof, woof. Okay, guys. <laughs> he's like First doing of all, his weird winks. We have bought a house. What? No, 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 no. We bought an apartment. Apartment. Rephrase. <laughs> <laughs> We're not cool enough to get a house. Well, we tried that. No, no. We failed. No, 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 no. The reason is no. because basically where we live, we love it. We yeah. love the beach. Yeah. So basically where we live, there's like a bunch of different beaches. Mm. And I've grown up here. It's like my favorite place on the planet. I love this suburb. Yeah. But there are specific beaches that I really just love so much. Yeah. So our apartment right now is out the front of one of my favorite beaches. And that has been the thing that's been keeping us here. Like it's the best yeah, location. It's such a good spot. And when we when we found this, we're, we're currently renting. But when we found this spot, it was just like, we have to get it. It, it was we, we knew it was small moving in and we were like, okay, whatever, it's small. It'll do for now. It'll do for now. But we've definitely outgrown it. Like the yeah. amount of stuff we 
we have coming from my work to the door every day is, yeah. is starting to get out of hand. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's just like even sitting here now and podcasting, we complain all the time that we don't have air conditioning. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the suburb we're in, you can't just say to your landlord, give me air conditioning because it's mm. a really, it's in high demand, this suburb. So if you... Yeah aren't happy they'll say just leave yeah. <laughs> so you can't really ask for much we're talking about first world problems here but by the way we're, I, d- we're, we're not complaining no 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 <laughs> it's just that we do all our work from home this is our office we yeah. we, we needed some more space to work as and well. also as you guys know our landlord keeps saying no to th- like the the one quest just let us have a dog just let us have a pl- <laughs> i'm so maternal it actually hurts my ovaries well you know what that means sarah I need a baby. No. What? We have a puppy coming. <laughs> you guys, you guys, everyone has guessed it and I've just been like biting my tongue. We literally have a puppy right yeah, now. Yeah. She's like four and a half hours inland on like a cute little farm. And in a week and a half on the 5th of May, actually, we're going to drive and go and pick her up. <laughs> so excited. It's a cavoodle. It's little. And what can we say its name? You can't yet? say it. Yeah, you can say her name. Her name is Abby. Oh, Miss Abby Day. We've Miss made an Abby. Instagram for her already. Miss Abby Day. Go and follow her. She has absolutely no photos yet because I've never seen her, really. No. <laughs> but guaranteed to be bombarded. Because yeah. so her name was already Abby and we were like, that's kind of cute. So yeah. we're like, let's just keep it. Yeah, we did have other names planned out, but yeah. we just decided to keep that one. So all week, our unwind time <sighs> has been YouTubing how to train a dog yeah and we found some really good youtube videos that we're addicted to now addicted i I don't know what he's called but like i'd love to give him a shout out because he's amazing amazing like Um, who even needs puppy preschool who even needs school and education (laughs) oh wow you went there oh no i'm gonna get sued now (laughs) i'm kidding go go to school (laughs) no but in terms of dogs like okay puppy preschool to like let it socialize (laughs) but i have learnt so much on YouTube. I feel like a dog whisperer. I feel like we're we're probably getting ahead of ourselves. And once we actually get the dog, it's going to be a oh, whole okay. different ball game. But but like we need to be good. I'm going to take her out every single hour to go wee. <laughs> She's already got the three, schedule written. Every oh three gosh. hours at night time, you feed her at the same time. And like <laughs> oh, the only thing is being a YouTuber, everything you do is wrong in someone's eyes. So I just like, I'm just going to have to have a strong heart. <laughs> Thick skin and be like, Miss Abby Day, it's me and you, sister, and no one else. Me and you against the world. And you're going to be a you good need a trained music dog. Montage for this. My hand is up right now. We're like, going to do a video a music montage on your YouTube Of with me her. and Abby. Yeah. Her wing on the floor and me yeah. going, Yeah. It's like that, <laughs> yeah. that, that Instagram boom. The <laughs> and this is the general conversation that goes around in our household. Oh, <sighs> the fun times. Anyway, I'm going to have a little bit of a rant right now. What? Okay. So because Sarah has been very stressed this week, the way she likes to share and show her love to me is by cooking. So I've been trying to return this favor to her. and, and No, you offering- haven't. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to offer to cook dinner oh. pretty much every night this week. Blur. Every single night she's turned around to me and she said, no, I'm not hungry. I don't feel like eating just yet. I'll, I'll just make something little later. Because I snack like, at five. Yeah. So? I don't care. Stop snacking. Have dinner with me. Anyway, no. I start cooking up this amazing Disgusting. meal. Because hashtag I'm it's a chef. It's just rice and chicken every night. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I start cooking it up, she gets a little smell up the nostrils over there. I get food scampers jealousy. Scampers over into the kitchen. <laughs> and deci- Yeah, you scamper like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> and decides that she's hungry and then makes me feel bad for not cooking her dinner and all I'm trying to no. do is be a good boyfriend. Okay, okay, okay. Rewind. <laughs> Rewind, my little turtle friend. We both know that he's a PH at lie. Because, yeah, okay, maybe I say, nah, not hungry because I just ate my body weight in loving of chocolate and fruit and nut mix. And you say, oh, you sure? I say, yeah. 
okay, I scamper over, but then I say, don't worry, I don't want your icky dinner. I'm going to make my own. I don't make you feel bad. You just feel bad. No, she makes me feel bad. She gives me the eyes, those evil eyes. Like She's the eyes giving, giving to me right no, now. No, you're giving it to me. <laughs> you guys, we need to start YouTubing this so you can see what's yeah, really going on. Yeah. He's giving me the finger as well. Oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> She's lying. I'll never do that to you. All right, okay. All right. Jeez. All right. You're gonna you're gonna tell everyone how much you spent on pens today, by the you way. You guys, okay. I am not a shopper. Okay, I literally never shop because uh, I don't know. It's just not my style. I'd rather like go to the gym and go for a walk. The reason why I say this because she's got scribble all over okay, a book from every single one of them. Because I'm gonna tell them about the highlight of my week. Okay. Wow. Protein balls. Wow. Ebook. Wow. Fitness show. Wow. Fruitnomics. Who cares? I care about this wax highlighter. <laughs> I spent forty dollars today on pens, and it was the best. $40 I've ever spent. I would rather, I would rather pay $40 for pens Ugh. than buy a dress. So, no. yes, you guys, if you can get your hands on a wax highlighter, non-toxic, oh my gosh, it is, I'm, oh. Yeah, it is very therapeutic. Listen to I'm going to admit. I'm going to get the lid off and now I'm gliding it over the page. Ooh, it feels like butter. It feels like you're writing with butter. Yeah, you're right. And it's a highlighter. So I bought two pink pens and three black pens. And one of the black pens has like glitter in the pen with a flamingo. (laughs) Anyway, that was like the highlight of my day. Long long story short, you spent $40 on pens. Best point. I'm ashamed of you. Don't steal them this time. That's why I had to buy them. (laughs) They're going to end up on my my desk. You thief. (laughs) All right. Okay. 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 Let's, Let's turn the funny humor side down a bit and let's actually talk about today's topic yeah, funny. <laughs> get stuffed <laughs> okay mr right. serious yeah man. yeah what is the topic i'm sick of talking about pens and all your projects blah okay Jealous. all right the relevance of this topic with our very busy life at the moment which hopefully will turn down a little bit um let's just talk about our normal weekly schedule mm just to show how we do balance things. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do you want to start with with your weekly schedule? Mm-hmm. Start with your morning routine or mm-hmm. all the and That's just my run, favorite. run through it, okay? Okay, guys. My morning routine is one of my probably my favorite topic on the planet right now because it has been the thing that has transformed my life and transformed my attitude towards fitness, my attitude towards health, and just like my attitude towards life. So naturally, I'm not a morning person at all. And I know I've talked about this before, so I'll just quickly skim through it. Yeah. But pretty much, I try to wake up at the same time every single morning, and that is 6.15. So my alarm goes off at 6.15. And for me, that's early enough that it's like I have so much time to be productive. I'm not rushing around in the morning, but it's also late enough that it's not like I need a nap in the day. If I wake up in the fives, I'm just like a zombie. Yeah. So I know some people don't have that luxury to kind of choose. So, But yeah, this is just me, my life, and my routine. So I get up at 6.15. I'm really quick to get ready. Like I'm not... A person who takes a long time. I just like pretty much get up, chuck my hair in a bun, put some active wear on, put my backpack on because I'm a loser. And then I nag Kurt yes. because Kurt is like a little turtle so in the I'd morning. usually get up at about 6.30 and then drag it on to about 6.40. Yeah. I'm like, Kurt, <laughs> get up. If you want to walk with me, you got to come now. The only reason why I get out of bed and walk with you is because I want to spend a little bit more time with you. I know. It's And really I get nice. to have a morning coffee with you. I love it. And it's it. lovely walking along the Esplanade in the morning. So we live across the beach, we're like I lucky. said. We're very lucky. And when we first moved in, we were like usual morning people. We would like quickly get up. We'd rush around. We wouldn't have time. We would drive to the station. We would just start our life, start our mm. day on a stressful note. Yeah. So... I went on this like sleep retreat and I we talked about sleep and we learned about sleep and I just completely revamped my routine. So now I wake up at 6.15. I have so much time to get ready. Kurt, you know, I make him get up and then we walk to the station. We get a coffee. I normally meet my friend and we do a morning workout around 8.30. So we like chat, drink coffee for an hour. Then we smash out a one hour workout maximum sometimes like even today i did a 28 minute workout and it was crazy like really yeah it was crazy you, you did that with her and then went to gym no, as well no i went to run okay thing. yeah but yeah so i normally do like a one hour workout at 8 30 in the morning i've just learned that that's when my body works out the best 
If it's going to be an intense workout like boxing or something like if I'm going to lift weights or do resistance, I do like to have breakfast because I yeah. I get my best sessions yeah, if I, agree I have with that food. As well. Like I, I had food today. I was today. talking about this the other day and um, I have to have food before weightlifting. Mm, I agree. But I can go without food if it's a HIIT session or a high cardio session. I so uh, agree. Like by go without food, I mean just have a banana I instead of I think that's why beer. I noticed it today because you said that and then I had two breakfasts to breakfasts breakfast two i had two rounds of breakfast today yeah and sometimes like i don't know why sometimes i just wake up and i'm starving and that was one of those mornings so this morning i had like a big brekkie bowl it was like a savory bowl yeah and then i also had like a protein shake and a banana and i had the i had so much energy in my session and weirdly enough i wasn't like overly full even though i ate less than an hour before Mm, training it's hard to find that balance sometimes every day is different yeah it's so hard But anyway, so then after my workout, I usually come home and I'm on my computer the entire day. So I'm editing, replying to emails, doing product development, like just doing all that kind of stuff. And then I usually go for a walk around like three o'clock because I just can't be on my computer for more than like 10 hours at a time kind of thing. So I go for a walk along the beach or, you know, I'll ride my bike dot up to the shops and, you know, get a green tea or something. And then I keep working on my computer until Kurt comes home and then I kind of just vibe off your vibe. If you want to work, I'll work. If you want to watch Netflix or Netflix, like I just really kind of become the, you know, your sidekick. You go with the flow. She's doing these flowy arms. Yeah, I'm doing flowy arms. You guys know, if you watch my YouTube channel, it's really hard for me to explain things without my hands. My hands are flicking across the room like this. I know. It's really hard to like just use my voice because my hands are so animated. They are very animated. So that's my, that's my daily routine. And it's pretty much the same every single day. And I love it because I'm like a creature of habit. So like, oh, and we go to bed around 1030. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we just, but we chat for ages in. Depends on what's going on. We've been chatting about Abby every night. We have been talking a lot about dogs lately. Anyway, my usual routine I have two different types. So I work for an agency, a nine to five, um, on Mondays through to Wednesdays. And then the rest of the week, I work for myself. So on the days that I'm working for the marketing agency, which I also do photography and content creation at, I will wake up at 6.30, we will walk to the station, do that morning routine, I will sit on the train for about an hour, get to work and work You do from... emails on the train, don't you? Yes. I was going to get to all these points later oh, on. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, so, I, I get to work at around 8.30 and work from 8.30, have a break at 12, all the way through till 5.30, same thing again, hour train back get home and usually by that stage I'm pretty exhausted so I understand the nine to five grind it is hard work but if you have other stuff going on outside your job like gym and then uh, maybe a side hustle or relationship relationship seeing your girlfriend um, you need to try and fit time in for those as well and it's very hard and I understand that as well but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do like there'll be times where I get home And it'll be 7 o'clock. I'll go to the gym from 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock and be having dinner then. It's probably not healthy. You've been going to bed at like 2 a.m. lately. Only because I've been doing a lot of work on different things. And that's the thing. I guess this podcast is also about prioritizing. And it's like, where do you put your priorities? Is it like, is it your health? Is it your side hustle? Is it the gym? Yeah. Yeah. So we both live very busy schedule and we both have very busy schedules and live very busy lives so i want to move on to a new topic right now Mm -hmm. and it's the importance of downtime so within Mm. this busy schedule p.s i love that you're the commentator of this this is like really fun for me but i'm not the oh yeah i'm head podcaster i love it mr podcast don't get used to it but i like it tonight mr podcast to you sarah oh here we go david again we're going to now talk about the importance... I take it back. ...of downtime. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Downtime. Yeah. So, after the event on the weekend, we spent mm. a lot of time there meeting you all. Yeah, it was really fun and it was awesome, but it was so exhausting at the you same time. You just put a lot of energy into you an do. event and like you ha- And you want to be energetic for everyone because you want to give everyone your true yeah. version of yourself. Yeah. So, yes... <sighs> We got home, we had to try and film or record this podcast, and we also had to try and edit some photos with Sarah's thing. We had so many different projects so many. that we had, we had to try so, and, and we hadn't been on our computers night. or our phones all day, so we had like, I had 
like 200 emails <laughs> that people were like, urgent, please get back to me by end of day. I was like, girl, it's 9 p.m. I can't get back to you right now, which I had to get back. But What did we do? What did we do? Okay, my version. Okay, the first thing we did is because of me, because I'm a foodie, mm. I am just going to be totally honest. I always reward or treat myself yeah. with food. Yeah. So I was like, can we please just order like a healthy with quotation bunny fingers, <laughs> a healthy like cheat dirt, meal, cheat meal. Yeah. Exactly. Healthy I was like, I just meal. want to Uber Eats it because I was so exhausted. I was like, let's just get it in our apartment and eat. And Kurt was like, okay, whatever. Cause like I'm the foodie in the family. Yeah. So cheat meal to us is sushi. Yeah, it was it was sushi and sweet potato fries, but like it, it was the kind. We'll yeah, get into yeah, it. Yeah. And then Kurt's version of the downtime was watching Netflix. Yeah, so, I just want to watch a mindless show where I don't have to think and yeah. just zone out. We actually get a lot of questions about cheat meals, so that's a good example of a cheat meal for us. Mm. I never really have rice in my day to day life. Like I don't eat grains. I don't include grains in my diet. Yeah, you're ve- you're almost like you're a very paleo based paleo based plant based y kind of thing. So randomly I'm the biggest advocate for listen to your body and that's why I don't label myself as anything because the other night I was craving sushi and craving rice and there was a reason my body was craving that because I was so exhausted. It just needed those that big hit of carbohydrates to try to keep me going. So we ordered these loaded sweet potato fries with like guacamole and vegan. What was it? Vegan aioli on yeah, top and jalapenos. So much, yeah. We got one of those each, and they were huge. I could have, like, I could have eaten twenty of those. I was so yum. Yeah. And then we got two large rolls of sushi. So I was <laughs> like in downtime heaven. And then Kurt put on Netflix, and he was in downtime yeah. heaven. Well, loving life. Loving life. So, in saying that, that that was our downtime, and that's that's our usual go to for a downtime. Because it's mindless, yeah, and yeah. we're not thinking about. We work. sit there, we have a little bit of a cuddle. Why is it important? Why is it important for you to do this? Because I'm, for me, I'm a person who gets burnt out, and when I get burnt out, I start resenting the projects that should be fun. So usually I love editing YouTubes. Like that's why I started YouTubing because I love yeah. Final Cut Pro. Yeah. I love making my thumbnails on Photoshop. I love coming up with product ideas. And as soon as I'm really tired and burnt out and I'm thinking, oh, I still have to edit that. Like I just want to slap myself and say, are you joking, Sarah? Like this is your passion. This is what you love. If you're resenting it, something's wrong. You need to have a little break and come back to it and then you're going to be your best creative self and produce your best content. So that's when I know I need downtime because, yeah, yeah, a grumpy girl makes grumpy content. (laughs) And you're not inspired then. Totally. No, I totally agree with that. I learned a really valuable lesson this year about having downtime. About two months ago, was completely overworked, working till two in the morning every night, getting up at six, was working full-time job, hence why I've cut down my hours now pretty much just really overworked, going to the gym, trying to fit in everything on the weekends as well. Anyway, I ended up getting shingles. Mm. And I went to the doctors and I found this rash on my back and asked him what's going on. And his first three questions to me were, or maybe two, was, have you been having much rest lately? And are you very stressed at the moment? Two, like, really important questions. And... Was, that you neglect when yeah, you're really busy. It's like yeah, sleep is for the, the week. Wayside. It's like that Steve Aoki documentary, I sleep when I'm dead. Exactly. I tell myself that. I'm like, mm, probably not the best advice. <laughs> exactly. And I, like I was doing, I, like I love what I do and I was driven and I, I just wanted to reach this goal. But I ended up getting shingles, which is a virus strand from chickenpox as a just kid. being run down. And yeah. it flares up when you're run down and high stress. Yeah. And I experienced a similar thing when I did my first ebook. So I know when I said, I'm going to make a second ebook, a lot of my OG subscribers got really nervous for me. They were like, says, please don't do a repeat of what happened last time because I had insane anxiety attacks i was so run down i lost my period because my body was so stressed Mm. and that's kind of your version of it i lost my period you got shingles shingles. (laughs) and i think i learned my lesson Mm -hmm. last year you learned your lesson this year and now it's like we want to share our tips of like how we still achieve so much and we're so productive and we have our hands in so many different projects but i think we still live a really healthy and balanced life yeah and 
yeah, what, what strategies we've put in place to try to do everything, but still be happy and be healthy and not feel like a zombie all the yeah. time. So it may sound silly, but one of the strategies we've put in place is Netflixing and chilling. And I think for everyone, that's a little bit different. For me, I sometimes can't watch YouTube because it just makes me think about my YouTube and my work. So we just want to watch like, there's this show called Fool Us and it's like yeah, this magician show. <laughs> so that's one thing for us. Yeah. And then another thing, I guess, on more of the health spectrum is what I talked about again is developing, practicing and really falling in love with your nighttime routine and your morning routine because a well-rested body, a well-rested mind is a productive mind, is a creative mind. And that's one thing that I've totally learned in the last few months. Like, I'm just so much happier. I'm so much yeah. happier now that I wake up at 6.15. I'm vibrant. I get my best work done in the morning. And I know that. Like, I will often say to Kurt, can we please record the podcast in the morning because I'm my best self in the morning. I yes, have... it's night time right now. And she's got a heap of energy tonight. I don't it's... know what's going I on. I had a lot of sugar today. <laughs> it was a protein ball day. We were like, we went store hopping to find my protein <laughs> balls. And we ate a protein ball in like every store. Uh, so dude. yeah, it's like for me, develop a good nighttime routine. So, and it's hard because even though you've got a lot of work to do, le again, let's just, we need to make like a well, fake person, like that primary school teacher example we always talk about. Let's yeah. call him like, Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Charlie, Charlie. From now on. Charlie yeah. bit me. Oh, now I don't want to call him Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> from now on, I think because we do have quite odd jobs and I think to the average listener, yeah. let's just assume that they have like a nine to five job. Maybe they're a teacher. Maybe they're a secretary. Maybe they work in a law firm, you know? So yeah. Charlie is a primary school teacher. Yeah. He gets to work around eight o'clock. He finishes school day around three, but then he still has to come home and mark. Okay, let's yeah. just pretend that's his life. He plays footy on the weekend. He has a girlfriend. They don't live together. That's his life. Okay, that's Charlie. Okay. So the hard thing with Charlie is that he goes to work all day. He's so consumed. He's so he's giving so much energy to the students in his classroom. He comes mm. home. Not only does he have to mark his students' work, yeah. but he also has listened to the Health Code podcast and he started a side hustle. So he started a a dog walking business. Okay, nice. so he wants Good to business. become. Yeah, I know. He <laughs> wants to become. I'm just totally ad living. No, this. I like it. he <laughs> just wants to become this amazing dog walker on the weekends because he wants some extra cash because he's saving up to go to Europe with his girlfriend that he's gonna surprise her for her birthday first point why did he start the dog walking business no this isn't a career podcast okay because he wants to walk miss abby day because he why. loves dogs yeah right, loves good dogs. point okay okay so yeah for him the hard thing is he listens to this and he says okay you're saying have a good nighttime routine and go to bed by 10 o'clock because i've got to wake up at six to be at school at seven but how am i going to do my side hustle yeah attend to your clients emails back and forth organize your invoices, all that type of stuff. Organize my lessons for tomorrow. How yeah. is he going to do all of that and also have a good nighttime routine? Well, that moves on to our next little topic of prioritizing. Mm. I think it's important we talk about Charlie. Charlie, the teacher, the dog walking school teacher. <laughs> what, a, what a babe. Where are his priorities at? Okay, what's the most important things? First of all, his daytime job because yeah. he's got to pay the bills. Yeah. His Second, students, his lesson planning. Yeah. So that's that's important as well. His football on the weekend because you got to have some social time. Good for the soul. Yeah. His dog walking side hustle business. Well, maybe maybe this is this is one of those circumstances where the side hustle maybe isn't the right thing for you at this time. And like our thing is, you don't always have. But if to have he's a doing that hustle. on the weekends, that's yeah. But okay. is he, if he enjoy, enjoys it? If he enjoys it, yeah. but I think you can't have a side hustle just because we said it. If no, you don't, yeah, if you okay. really, if it's causing you more stress than excitement, it's not worth it. Like my sister, for instance, her job is really demanding and her hours are crazy. And she's I always, a nurse, by the way, no, my older sister's oh, a midwife. Okay, midwife. And yep. you know, she's, she gives her all into her work and she's, She's involved in a lot of other things. And I always say to her, you need a side hustle. Like, you're so creative. And she's just yeah. like, Sarah, I don't have time. And when I do have time, I need to unwind. And I need to spend time with my boyfriend. And I'm like, you know what? I appreciate that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's about prioritizing. And maybe Charlie says, okay, for a few years, I'm going to go full time with teaching and pay my bills. And then maybe dip his foot into the side hustle. He doesn't have to do it every single night. Maybe do a few weekends. It's just about trying to balance it. Yeah. And that's why I want to talk about Charlie because it's important for us to acknowledge 
the, again, using my bunny fingers quotes, a normal person's life. It's just, yeah. it's different for us because we work for ourselves, but it's hard for us because we want to say our personal experience, but I want to re- relate it to everyone as well. Okay. I like that. Say you are in university. Now we're going to talk about Jessica. She's oh. in university. She's studying, who cares, law. <laughs> um, she's smart. <laughs> she's smart. She's a very smart girl and it's a very demanding subject. Yeah. She then is doing a part-time job because you need to be able to pay for the bills. Retail. Yep. Mm. Retail, for example. She has a social life and is quite young, still only new into university. Likes to party. Hey. Likes to party a little mm. bit. Mm-hmm. Um, what else would there be? A sport and gym. She loves the Fitting gym. in the fitness. And loves she the does gym. tennis. Trying to eat healthy. Her main goal is to uh, lose a little bit of weight and, and trim up for summer or something like that. Mm. I would say my number one thing, again, work out in the morning because sleeping in till your first lecture, which might be at 10 o'clock in the morning... That it's is a waste, waste of time. time for me. I agree like, with that. I if you go that. to bed early enough and you are getting whatever amount of sleep you need for your body, everyone's different. Again, yeah. Yeah. I thrive off six hours. My sister needs nine. Everyone's different and I totally stand by that. And I don't think you should feel bad if you need more than your friend. It's yeah. fine. I also, I think if you're if you're doing a university course, you need a, you need a, a part-time or a casual job that can fit your schedule or can fit the, like a time frame. So say, for example, if you are if you need to be at work during the day, if you're in a retail job and you need to be at work during the day and you have lectures, I've never went to university. I don't know what goes on at uni. <laughs> I did, guys. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull him into line yeah, if he's yeah. talking crap. <laughs> Find a job that, that can work late afternoons or night times. We'll like, try. That's, try that, that's kind of hard. It's, sometimes it's hard to just find a job. Well, because my, because I worked in retail and mine was in the day and it, I just had to make it work. I didn't yeah. want, I didn't like any of the jobs at nighttime or in the morning. I wanted to work in, re- that's the only job I liked. I used to work at a, a gym. I, I know, but I'm just putting a... it in Jessica's perspective. Yeah. So, so for me. Is, there is options out there though. Oh yeah. To yeah, try yeah. and balance. I'm just talking about how to, how to options. balance right okay. now. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just passionate because I was Jessica. Okay. Well, we continue being Jessica. Go well, on, talk I would about say, Jessica. okay, I would say work out in the morning or one thing that I used to do as well is I used to wear my active wear and then I had a one hour break in between one lecture and one tutorial yep. and I would go for a run around the campus and that was my workout for the day. So Unfortunately, that a lot of girls think they have to go to the gym to get a good workout in and you have to have crazy meal prepped meals like chicken and rice and broccoli and otherwise you'll never reach your goals. And that's honestly not the case at all. Like do what you can and don't put too much pressure on yourself. And if you can just go for a run in your break, do that. And if you can just pick the healthiest version in your cafeteria, that's good as well. Don't yeah. put too much pressure on yourself because honestly, stress is worse than you not going to the gym or then you stressing out about the food that you've you have to choose from the cafeteria just don't stress out make the best choice you can i agree with that i agree with that what about like the party scene for example if you if you're in it's it's 21st season Mm. everyone's turning 21 that year and you have a goal of losing weight do you have to say yes to every party okay i think you need to go yeah um, because that's just like a good friend kind of yeah. thing. If they're a friend, yeah. like if they're an acquaintance, I mean, like you know, whatever. But yeah. if they're a good friend, I think you totally need to go. But you also need to be confident enough. And I think it's like going back to my saying, your vibe attracts your tribe. I think yeah. you need to be a really strong-minded person. You don't need to judge others, and you don't have to voice your opinion all the time. But if you want to go there and you don't want to drink, then don't. Don't let your friends pressure you into it. And I know. I know that's so much easier said than done because I've been there. But as soon as I started just really firmly saying, you know, I'm okay. Like I really like waking up on a Sunday morning feeling fresh and going to, totally going to breakfast with, with my sisters. Like yeah. that is my favorite time of day, yeah. Sunday morning. So once I really got strong about saying that, I just started attracting the right people to my life and I got invited to different kind of parties and different kind of gatherings. And nowadays... I just go to dinner and I go to breakfast and I go on walks and I would much rather that than a crazy drinking party. Yeah. However, Jessica doesn't have to say no to drinking at every party. We're not saying drinking is the enemy. Obviously, if you want to lose weight as, you know, healthily and quick as you can, 
we would recommend not, not drinking. To, yeah. Because yeah. for me, my body just holds on to fat. You feel bad. You don't want to train. And you want to. And you eat you unhealthy with it. And you, yeah. Right. It's just a whole heap of bad things that come along with but it. But if it's New Year's, if it's your birthday, like, you know, yeah. it's about have, balance. Have a life still. Yeah. It, and if social. that's what you want to do, then do it. Yeah. I think another another thing that's good that I would do would be to give yourself a time and say at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, I'm just going to say goodbye then. Because by that stage, most of the people at the party are going to be pretty loose to even know you're even there anymore. Yeah. Give yourself a curfew. Give yourself a time when to stop. Which is also another point that I want to bring up is learning to find a stop period. So say you do work for yourself or you are training in the gym and it's just not working for you. Give yourself an exact time. Don't give it to the end of your... Let's say, say for example... I feel example, like you're preaching this to me right now. Oh, and I, I am, like, I I am totally... 100% because this is very important. And I, I've actually did this technique the other day and it was life-changing for me. Okay. I'm Instead like so of, interested because I need to do this. So uh, let's say you're writing an essay. I never went to uni. Don't know what goes on there. Once again. <laughs> <laughs> but you run away in your essay and you say at the end of this page, I'm going to stop. So that's going to... Like it'll obviously be my sentence. I'm going to stop. If you just stop halfway through a sentence, your mind already knows what you're going to write for the rest of that sentence. So then for when you come back to that sentence again, you're already back in your flow set straight away. Hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you know when you get in a good flow? So for me, it's when I'm editing and I'm charging through and I've got good music playing and like, it's like I, it's just start things you don't just have to happen start from you're not, again. you're not it's not it's not hard to start it's not oh hard gosh, to get I into it I love this if you stop in between a sentence in between the flow and you already know what's coming next and you get up and you have your hour break you go to the gym or go for your walk whatever that break is even if it's coffee break with a mate yeah and you come back to it you'll start writing that sentence Did in you your flow up? set no i actually heard about this in a podcast and oh my gosh i love podcasts this are the best things ever i love that because <laughs> I've accidentally done that my well, I've accidentally done that numerous times in my whole life. Like yeah. when I'm editing a YouTube video and I'm doing it to to music, yeah. I know the beats and I know the vibe yeah. and the phone rings and I'm like, "Oh, I got to get up." I find it really easy to come back because I'm in the middle of that music. And you know what's coming up next, but if you give if you get to a certain stop point where it's like the, the end, end of the, of the sentence music, or the end of, yeah. Yeah, then it's really hard to get that flow going again. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah. And I should have done that in uni and in school because I would write the first topic about nature versus nurture and I'd finish that topic and then my next one would be about psychology and I would I would go to the gym and then have to come back and start psychology from and you scratch. Just, and it was uh, like climbing that mountain again. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that so right, much. Right, right. Coming up with the bangers. Yes, this is great. But yeah, I, I definitely agree. You need to, if you know yourself and you know that you're the kind of person that doesn't stop and you just will keep working until 2 a.m., I am saying this because I need to work on it myself. You need to give yourself that time. You say, okay, just give yourself a time. at just 5 p.m., that time. I'm going to stop and I need to take care of myself, take care of my mind, take care of my body. I'm going to go dry brush, get my skin all exfoliated <laughs> and beautiful, jump in the shower, have my dinner, have my dessert, watch Riverdale and go to bed with my sprayed lavender oil all around me with some magnesium spray and this is why on my she is called the princess. The holistic health vlogger. Get it right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> holistic health princess of YouTube. <laughs> Anyway, on that note, I think we've answered some good questions tonight. We've oh actually my gosh, had, is that the well, end? That's, this is the I'm end. I'm loving this. That's the end I of could it. talk for a billion years. <laughs> I told you I'm on a sugar high. You are on a massive sugar high. And I just love high. this topic because it's so relevant to it's our good. lives. It's a good topic. It and guys, in topic. seven and a half weeks, we'll be in our new... I keep saying house, our new pad. Let's but just call it our when pad. We'll, there's, there's some more exciting news what? before that. What? Our oh, puppy? Yeah. Yes. Next weekend, we get our puppy. I know. I told them I told them the date. 5th of, of May. I know. I'm going to vlog next it. Next weekend, whatever. I'm going to vlog it. So definitely stay tuned to my YouTube channel, Sarah's Day. Yeah. And I Insta story literally everything in my life. I'm yeah. like an Insta story queen. Yeah. Hashtag princess because queens for old ladies. Sarah's underscore day is my Instagram. You can check out my website, www.sarahsday.com. Yep. 
ding. You need a little ding. YouTube ding there. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm KJ Tills. KJ T I L S E. Oh. We spell it every week. What? We love it. We need to stop love spelling, spelling it. it. And also follow <laughs> us on the dot health code on That's Instagram. It. Is that it? That's it, my friend. What a fabulous night it's been. And I'm going to have the last say. No, I just want to say it was really nice to meet everyone who came to the fitness show. Just before we wrap it up, I actually really had a really great time sitting on the sideline, Robin style, Batman no, and Robin. you weren't even. Everyone wanted a photo with you. Yeah, I was actually I was, surprised. Why do you want a photo of me? And, I smell. And some people <laughs> came up to me. They're like, can you get a photo of, of us and Kurt? I was like... What? How about the time that uh, I told you, you to take uh, a photo of me? You know what? You know I have a six hundred and seventy thousand. You're a nobody. You're short. YouTube. They're like, we don't care. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing about this podcast is go and get yourself a wax highlighter because this whole podcast I've been just scribbling away on oh, my. Wait, there's more. What? We haven't done our codes. I just <gasps> remembered. Oh my gosh, lucky. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Yep, go first quickly, and okay, then we'll guys. wrap it up. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Get your code books out, sisters, baker and brothers. Sorry, this is a unisex podcast. <laughs> because I'm about to reiterate the life for change in code that I already talked about in the podcast. Yeah, good. This is code number two under lifestyle. And it's short and sweet. And here we go. Awesome. <clears throat> Wake up at the same time every day. So the reason I say this is because, as you guys know, I've been reading this sleep book. It's by like a sleep psychologist or a sleep scientist. And he recommends waking up at the same time every single day. And that includes weekends. So he says, pick a time where it's like you can get up early enough where you can have your breakfast and not rush and get to work on time. But again, not too early where you need a nap in the day and you're going to be like super tired and like feel like a zombie. And the important thing is, is because of your circadian rhythm and your body clock, you want to do that on the weekends as well. And after a while, your body will just wake up before your alarm. So I've been doing that for like a month now and my body just naturally wakes up at 6.15 now. And I don't really have to roll myself out of bed every now and then. If I'm really run down the night before, it's a bit hard to get up. But lately I just... Wake up with spring in my step. So wake <laughs> yes, up at the do. same time every day. <laughs> nice code. Mine is also going to be lifestyle and it's going to be code number three. And it is learn to stop. That's it. Learn to stop. <laughs> that is just, that is not poetic. <laughs> so like I said in the learn podcast. To stop. <laughs> learn to stop. <laughs> so like I said in the podcast, learn to find a point where you can just stop mid-sentence, mid-whatever you're doing, so that when you come back to it, you're still in a flow mindset. Mid-project, whatever that may be. There you go, mid-project. Learn to stop mid-project. Or finish the whole thing and don't be a baby. (laughs) (laughs) That is the most evil laugh I've ever heard. Go number four, don't be a baby. (laughs) (laughs) Don't be a baby. (laughs) All right, all right, that's it, guys. We're going to wrap this one up. Wrap it up. Why are you mimicking me? Because You're I wanted the last such a say. Child. You did not get the last say. All Abby, right. Abby's going to like me better because I feed her. Have a good week, guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.